We begin in darkness, then a single spark, and change ripples through the world. The seed in the soil seeks light, the cell splits in two, the mind pulses with knowledge. Today we know so much. We have cracked the code of life, glimpsed the birth of the cosmos, explored infinities, and yet far more remains in darkness. Most of the universe is of unknown substance. Our minds are a mystery to us. In this darkness, all we have is our ideas. So let us tend their flame until they grow and spread, expanding circles of enlightenment, sparks of creation. I'm Peter Michelson, the chair of the physics department at, here at Stanford University. So I want to welcome you all to Stanford University for the next couple of days. And I think for a incredibly exciting topic. Uh, this is truly an interdisciplinary uh, effort, and that word gets used a lot, I think, but it really applies to what we're talking about in the next couple of days. So I'd like to take this opportunity now to introduce uh, our other co-host from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, Charles Alcock. So it's a, it's, it's a privilege to be here. Um, you know, we, we in the, at the Center for Astrophysics have a lot of interest in the general subject of life in the universe, how to find it, how to get to it, and the very different approach to these questions um, in, the, in, the, in the breakthrough world is of, of enormous interest to us and I think of great value to, to, to the, the search Frankly, it is a search for evidence for life elsewhere and everything it takes to accomplish that. So we're very excited about the upcoming launch of TESS in a few days, if, if there are no delays. Um, it's a tr tremendously exciting time to be in this field. Um, and with that, um, inspired by Peter's admirable brevity, let me introduce the uh, next co-chair, uh, Penny Boston, who's the director of the NASA Astrobiology Institute located here at um, the NASA Ames Research Center. Penny. It's really love to, lovely to be here at this event. Um, obviously, astrobiology is the core passion of my entire life. And now we're actually uh, coming into an era where missions are really beginning to seek that. We have a lot of work uh, ahead of us. And so uh, all of the brilliant minds in this room and beyond are necessary to actually stir that pot and bring us forward. NASA Ames is uh, very proud to be participating in this event and uh, helping to support it with my presence and the presence of a lot of our colleagues at Ames here and beyond that, many friends. So thank you. Let me turn it over to... <laughs> Pete Warden. Thank you, Penny, and, and uh, also I'd like to thank uh, our co-sponsors here. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, uh, you're lucky. Uh, uh, I'm the, uh, the uh, chairman of the Breakthrough Prize Foundation and the executive director of the Breakthrough Initiatives. This is our third annual Breakthrough Discuss conference. Uh, each year is bigger and better, so we're really delighted you're all here. Uh, as, the, as Morgan Freeman said, uh, and by the way, if you're not familiar with the Breakthrough Prize, it's the biggest prize in science. It's even bigger than some Swedish prize we don't mention. Uh, and, and unlike that prize, we don't have some king give it, we have God. So, kind of a cool thing. Uh, but at any rate, uh, this is the other major event the Breakthrough uh, Prize Foundation sponsors, uh, where the topic is, uh, is the questions of life in the universe. Uh, we have three or four major topics here, and I think you're going to find it really fun. Uh, so I want to uh, encourage all of you to interact and, and have fun, form breakout groups and uh, so forth. 
Uh, the, uh, uh, if there's any, anything that, uh, if, it, if it goes well, please tell me. If it doesn't, tell Jamie. Uh, the, uh, his pay review is soon. So. Uh, but at any rate, no, I'd like to thank uh, the staff of, uh, of, the, of the Breakthrough Prize Foundation who's put this together. They've done a fabulous job.